in an angiosperm flower the endosperm and the embryo develop after fertilization of the flower during fertilization two haploid male cells are released to the embryo sac one of them fuses with the egg cell to form a diploid zygote and the other fuses with two polar nuclei to form a triploid cell the zygote develops into an embryo and the triploid cell forms the endosperm the endosperm serves as a nutritive tissue for the developing embryo both the endosperm and the embryo form the seed that detaches from the parent plant gets dispersed and forms a new independent plant there are different types of endosperms which are distinguished on the basis of type of divisions that precedes their formation and the type of hostoria formed for absorption of nutrients from the surrounding tissue the nature of the endosperm is also influenced by the dominant or recessive genes present in the male nucleus which fuses with the polar nuclei the development of the embryo is different in dicot and monocot plants in dicots the embryo gets differentiated into two cotyledons whereas in monocots a single cotyledon is formed by the embryo let us see in detail about the formation of the endosperm and the embryo in the angiosperms endosperm is the nutritive tissue which nourishes the embryo produced in the flower after fertilization endosperm later becomes part of the seed and stores food that is utilized by the germinating seed endosperm is also a source of nutrition for the humans endosperm in grains like wheat rice barley and oat form the staple food for humans food is stored both in cotyledon and endosperm in maize all these seeds are rich in starch but food is also stored in the form of proteins and oils in other seeds coconut water and coconut meat are also endosperm some plants like orchids do not have endosperm in their seeds development of the endosperm starts with the fusion of one of the two male nuclei released in the embryo sac after fertilization the first cell of the endosperm formed after the fusion of one male nucleus with two female nuclei is a triploid cell this is the endosperm mother cell and three types of endosperms are distinguished on the basis of further divisions of this cell these three types are nuclear endosperm cellular endosperm and halobial endosperm in the nuclear endosperm the triploid nucleus within the embryo sac formed after fertilization undergoes repeated divisions forming numerous nuclei but without forming the cell wall between the nuclei in the absence of the cell wall the endosperm becomes multinucleated in the cellular endosperm wall formation takes place with each division of the triploid endosperm nucleus as a result of repeated divisions and wall formation a multicellular endosperm tissue is formed in the halobial type of endosperm both nuclear and cellular type of development takes place in the beginning two cells are formed by the first division of the endosperm nucleus and formation of the cell wall out of these two cells 
one of the cell degenerates and the other forms the endosperm. A further division of the nucleus in the functional cell is not accompanied by the formation of the cell wall. The subsequent divisions are free nuclear divisions and the endosperm resembles the nuclear endosperm. The function of the endosperm is to store nutrients to nourish the developing embryo. In certain plants, the endosperm forms hastoria for the purpose of absorption of nutrients from the surrounding parental tissues. The hastoria develop either from the chalazal cell or the micropylar cell or from both in a cellular endosperm. The chalazal hastorium is found in the plants of the family Aracea and Nymphaceae. The first division of the endosperm mother cell forms a chalazal cell and a micropylar cell. The chalazal cell does not divide further but instead forms a hastoria like in the plant Balanophora. The micropylar cell undergoes further divisions to form the endosperm tissue. In the plant impatiens, the first division forms a small micropylar chamber and a large chalazal chamber. The micropylar cell divides transversely to form three cells, out of which the uppermost cell forms a hastoria with branches. The chalazal chamber forms the endosperm. Both micropylar and chalazal hastoria are formed in the plant Nemophila belonging to the family Boraginaceae. The first division of the endosperm mother cell forms the micropylar and the chalazal cell. The chalazal cell directly functions as a chalazal hastoria. The micropylar cell divides transversely to form a central cell and a terminal cell. The terminal cell develops into a micropylar hastoria and the central cell forms the main tissue of the endosperm. In the plant maize, there are two types of endosperms, white and yellow. The color of the maize grain is due to the color of the endosperm and the grains are either white or yellow. The color of the endosperm is determined by the genes carried in the male nucleus. The yellow color is a dominant character and if the white endosperm races are pollinated by the pollen grains from yellow races, the endosperm formed becomes yellow in color. This effect of pollen grains on the fruits and seeds, especially on the appearance of the endosperm, is called xenia. Folk introduced this term xenia and Navashchin studied this phenomena in maize endosperm. If the pollen grains influence the somatic tissues like seed coat and pericarp that lie outside the endosperm, then it is called metaxenia. This phenomenon is observed in plants like date palm. In date palm, the size and maturity of the fruit is dependent on the type of the pollen grain used in fertilization. Swingle studied this phenomena in date palm and attributed this to differences in the secretion of the hormones by the embryo and the endosperm which diffuse to the wall of the seed and the fruit and influence them. Sometimes a mosaic endosperm may be formed in maize with two different colored patches. This may be due to failure of fusion of the male nucleus 
with the female nuclei and independent division of both. Alternatively, one of the female nuclei may fuse with the male nucleus and the other may remain independent. The mosaic pattern may also result due to aberrations in chromosomes during cell division or due to somatic mutations. Both in dicots and monocots, the embryo develops from the zygote formed by the fusion of one male cell with egg cell of the embryo sac during fertilization. The diploid zygote then undergoes further divisions to form the embryo. The first division of the zygote is transverse forming two cells, the basal cell and the terminal cell. The basal cell is near to the micropyle and the terminal cell is near to the endosperm. This is the two-celled pro-embryo. These two cells divide to form a four-celled pro-embryo which takes an inverted T-shape because the basal cell divides transversely while the terminal cell divides longitudinally. The basal cell then divides several times and forms the suspensor. The lowermost cells of the suspensor is called hypophysis. The two terminal cells divide to form four cells and later eight cells. The eight-celled embryo is called the octant stage. At the octant stage, the four cells below the suspensor are called hypobasal and the remaining four cells are called epibasal cells. The hypobasal cells develop into hypocotyl and radical while the epibasal cells develop into plumule and cotyledons. At this stage, the embryo is globular in shape. The suspensor shows maximum growth up to the formation of the globular stage of the embryo and pushes the embryo cells into the endosperm. The lowermost cell of the suspensor called hypophysis later forms embryonal root and root cap by further divisions. In dicotyledons, the embryo takes the shape of a heart with two primordial of cotyledons. A mature embryo is made up of a small axis and two cotyledons. In monocots, the zygote divides to form a large basal cell and a small embryonal cell. The basal cell enlarges to form suspensor without further divisions. The embryonal cell gives rise to the embryo. The embryonal cell divides transversely into two cells forming a three-celled proembryo consisting of a basal cell, a middle cell and a terminal cell. By further divisions, the terminal cell forms a single cotyledon. The middle cell by further divisions forms plumule, radical and the suspensor. Embryos similar to zygotic embryos can be formed from somatic cells through plant tissue culture. Such embryos are called somatic embryos. This technique is employed in agriculture and forestry to generate new plants from somatic cells for propagation of desired plants. Somatic embryos can be encapsulated with chemicals like gels and the technique is called synthetic seed production. Unlike the natural seed, no endosperm or a seed coat is formed around a somatic embryo.
development of the embryo and endosperm after the fertilization of the flower is an important stage in the life of the plant as it results in the formation of fruit and seeds. The endosperm serves the function of providing nutrition to the developing embryo. The embryo grows and differentiates into two cotyledons in case of dicots and a single cotyledon in case of monocots. The seed is detached from the parent plant at this stage and dispersed to develop into an independent 